Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, the 17th day of January. New surge of colder air blows into Alabama today. There's the water vapor satellite view. Big trough in the east, big ridge in the west. High amplitude pattern. Of course, that trough will deliver occasional shots of colder air. We'll have one today. Starting off the day as low as 27. Those are temperatures at 5 a.m. Right before sunup, 27 at Fort Payne. Uh, Birmingham warmer at 40. Guess it might be that urban heat island effect or maybe a breeze. But we've got low 30s on either side for Tuscaloosa and Anniston. We're expecting mid 40s today. And about 15 below zero up on the Canadian border as they are getting back into very cold air. On the watch warning map, pretty quiet for middle of January. At winter weather advisories for parts of Kentucky, across the river into southern Illinois and Indiana, up north parts of Minnesota. But generally speaking, the nation relatively calm. We also note some freeze warnings down into Florida. And uh, rain for the next five days, just really nothing significant. This is through Wednesday morning of next week, suggesting really a dry forecast for us. This is modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Trough swinging through again, delivering more cold air. Will be a little colder than yesterday, not much. Highs, I'd say low to mid 40s. And more than likely, any snow flurries north of here up in uh, Tennessee may be affecting Huntsville or Scottsboro. Tomorrow morning is going to be cold. Uh, we'll say lows between 17 and 24. Probably the average low around 20, but the day should be a sunny day, a pretty decent warm up. The high, I'll say upper 40s. And this is Sunday. Lots of sun, the high in the lower 50s. And that's exactly where we should be for this time of the year. Go to Monday of next week, and this clearly should be our warmest day of the next seven days. Pretty decent chance we see a high at 60 on Monday afternoon. That'll feel pretty good, but uh, here's Tuesday, new troughing developing, and down below that, the air turns colder again. In fact, this run is considerably colder. It's suggesting a high only of 42 on Tuesday uh, with a good north wind. And this is Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Again, uh, lows, upper teens, low 20s. And the latest GFS showing a high of only 39 on Wednesday. Numbers are coming down. Thursday, we warm up into the 40s, and this is a week from today, suggesting maybe a high close to 50. But you can see we just get occasional shots of colder air, and the cold air coming in is dry. No big rain or snow uh, threats for the next uh, week. Now, this continues to be the uh, time period that everybody's focusing on. This is Sunday, January 26th. Very cold air and moisture and lift and a trough. And uh, this is suggesting a, a flirting of snow or ice problems here along the I-20-59 corridor, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Uh, but I caution you, this is nine days away. Uh, once we get that within our seven-day window, we'll start to be a little more concerned about it. But I'll say this, the consistency has been very good in the idea. And that is some very cold air uh, behind this thing. And uh, we'll just have to see if indeed we have the lifting mechanism, the moisture. Will the cold air be deep? Will it be shallow? We just don't know that at this point. Just something to watch. And this is the uh, 27th on Monday. And we have seen some runs that look very cold out here. Uh, this is a look at the, uh, again, the latest run, and it's got sub-zero temperatures, those shades uh, the, of light blue north of us through for Chicago and Minneapolis and uh, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh and Detroit. That's very, very cold air. And around here, uh, that would suggest lows down in the uh, teens. But again, we have seen other runs that are colder that would even get us in the single digits out there. So uh, just something to watch. Be aware we could see a Fairly significant, maybe very significant cold pop later in the month. And the end of the forecast on the 1st of uh, February, 
pattern relaxes, and that will be a little warmer with the showers coming at us. And you can see the noise out there. This is the Arctic Oscillation. Was, uh, you know, you see the various runs of the GFS, you know, the late eight, the last eight forecast, and you can see how some go strongly negative, some are positive, so it's a little noisy out there, but uh, we'll get better clarity in the days ahead. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.